Welcome Libras. I'm back y'all with another video. So I have been MIA for a couple of weeks. I know, I know, I know. But I'm back. I am back y'all. I'm getting ready to do June readings for you guys. Love readings. I'm going to switch my cards because I think I have worn these cards out. And I don't even want to use them right now. Hold on y'all. Give me a sec. use these okay so Libras all right so this is for Sun Moon rising and Venus Sun Moon rising and Venus North node South node you can utilize this video as well all right. Oh, really quick, guys. Um, let's talk about this. Let's get into this beauty right here, honey. Let's get into this beauty right here. All right. So this product here is one of my top sellers, guys. This is twenty percent off today. This is the twenty. This is the energy clearing spray. All right. So this is a great alternative to uh, smudging. I know a lot of you guys don't really like the smell of the smoke. Or you can't use it in your office um, or smudge in your car. This is going to be a great alternative, guys. So all you simply do, it has a wonderful fragrance, okay? It has a lot of, it has Palo Santos, uh, sage. It has um, uh, Florida water. It has clear quartz crystals in it. It's charged. Like, this is a, a awesome product, guys. All right, so this is going to help you clear the energy in the space or room. You know, if you're around a lot of people or around some things, you know, a, you know, just out and about, and you know, you're just around a lot of people. You can clear, spray this a couple times and clear that energy. All right, it's good for office use as well. And just like I said, guys, it has like a lemony scent, so it does not smell bad. People won't be able to notice that you're clearing your energy it just smells like you know fresh it's a fresh smell all right so this is 20 percent off today guys on the website all the information is in the drop box below to the website there's a banner on the website to tell you the code to utilize to get this for 20 percent off okay all right so let's talk guys oh, i just saw the strength card something you could be dealing with a leo all right so let's see what messages we got for my libras what message is there for Libras? Oh, we got the moon. All right, so we got some jumpers here. We got the moon. So some of you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces, or there is something that is hidden. We got you guys' energy, justice. Four of Pentacles, no, somebody here. You guys are keeping a secret here. There could be some karma involved here. The King of Cups. Some of y'all are dealing with the Cancer or Pisces or Scorpio. The Emperor. Aries is energy. Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Death. Scorpio. The Page of Swords and the Four of Wands. Woo! Somebody's keeping a secret here. Somebody's keeping a secret that they could possibly be a married man or a married woman here. Somebody, the challenge is karma. We got the Emperor here, which is Aries' energy. Wow, there's some spying going on too. What is this? Let me see. Let me find out. Why is, oh, we got the five of cups. Five of cups jumped. Why are there regrets here? I'm getting somebody's going to regret when they find out that somebody's a married, somebody's married. Yeah, the 
Knight of Cups. I'm getting some bad news. Some of y'all are dealing with the Sagittarius or Cancer or Leo or an Aries. But somebody's feeling like somebody's forcing something. And um, forcing somebody to do something. And somebody saying, wait till I'm ready. I'm hearing, wait till I'm, wait to the right time. Wait to the right time. Wait to the right time to be together. Two of Cups. Yeah, somebody's keeping some type of secret here. Somebody, it may not be a marriage, but someone could be living with someone. And they're keeping it a secret. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? The Ten of Pentacles. So somebody here is trying. You guys could be saving your money. Or you're trying to refrain from spending so much. We got the Empress. This is you guys' energy as well. Or Taurus. Somebody got a lot of females. Somebody got a lot of traffic. Somebody got a lot of things going on here. Three of Cups, Ten of Wands, Empress. Yeah, somebody somebody got it going on. Ooh, what is the Ten of Pentacles? Someone could be married, like I said, or they've been in a relationship for a long time. They've been keeping it a secret. Yeah, the two of cups. So somebody here has a long term, has been in a long term relationship, possibly with a Leo here, but somebody knows about it, okay? Or somebody's keeping something a secret. Maybe you know about this Leo here. Somebody's starting arguments here. So they can get out of the situation. Okay, so somebody's starting arguments when they want to get out of the situation. But somebody here I'm getting is living double lives. Somebody is living a double life. Okay, somebody here can't make up their mind. Could be a Capricorn. They can't make up their mind on which who to choose to be with. There's a working female here, somebody who all she does is work. And there's possibly a third party involved as well. Why the moon? Why, why is the moon here? Okay, well, all right, so here's the strength card again. Definitely, a, a um, Leo and a Capricorn could definitely be involved with this double card here. Somebody here is waiting for somebody to do the right thing, to be together. Somebody has been with someone for a while. This person has a lot of suitors okay yeah they this person uh has quite a few different options okay um somebody you could be feeling like you want this person to regret what they said could be a capricorn here tell me more about the devil about the three of swords yeah see someone here Maybe you're looking for an apology from this person because this person has been behaving real reckless, has been real extremely reckless. Like they've been wilding out. They've been wilding out because they aren't sure if they want to be tied down. They don't want they don't really want to be locked down. So they start acting up. They start cutting up. 
and it make the relationship fall apart. Like the bond, the connection, it falls apart. And I feel like you end up being real disappointed in this person. You're disappointed in their actions, like how this person moves, how they do things. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But this person could could be uh, could come to you and borrow money from you all the time. Come to you asking you for things. But I feel like this is a secret relationship. Yeah, see, look, in your mind, you're overthinking. It's like when you go to sleep at night, this is on your mind. Look at this. This is constantly on your mind. Two of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. The Moon. This is constantly on your mind. Wands of Justice here. Six of Wands jumped out. Somebody feels as if they aren't getting attention. You could be feeling like this person doesn't give you your uh, roses. They're not giving you your champagne. They're not giving what they supposed to be given in this connection do you feel like there's a lack of attention or affection possibly this could be you feeling this way or there's this this other person queen of wands i'm getting that there's a third party involved in this situation somebody's feeling like they aren't getting attention and they they're starting to move on like somebody here is starting to like get over um, I feel like somebody's numb and used to not getting attention, but they're starting to kind of like move on from that phase or get over it um, because they're used to it. It's like they're numb to not getting the attention. So I'm getting there's three people here. I even have three people here in this read, the emperor, the king of cups, the queen of swords. You, I feel like also you can feel like some like overthinking. Somebody here is overthinking something. Somebody here is overthinking something. Then we got the Tower and the Ten of Cups that wants to jump out with this King of Cups. Somebody here is messing up a relationship. The relationship is shattered here because somebody is. Over here, over there, they got this going on, they got that going on. They're just too busy to make this work, to put the work in. So somebody leaves, somebody walks away. Somebody's making threats. They're threatening to leave. We got the emperor and the hierophant. Lots of major arcanas here as well. Now we got the Emperor and the Hierophant. These are very, very dominant energies. Okay, so this could be someone's husband. This could be someone older. I'm definitely getting older energy. Somebody is older, but they behave like they're young. Okay, somebody is old, older. But they behave, they think like a child. They think like a teenager. And they take their time. They move like a turtle. Somebody's moving on to something new because someone is childish. Someone here is saying that they're, they're tired of, of uh, not getting what they want. Somebody here is childish. They playing too many games. And there's a secret here, this secret situation that has possibly fallen apart because of someone, this person's behavior. They behave like a teenager, but they're older. I'm getting well over 35. 
30 and up for sure. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? All right, so it looks like moving ahead. You're focused on work. Ace of Pentacles and a Three of Pentacles. Hermit, you can be dealing with the Virgo, but some of you may be looking for a new job. Some of you may be getting a new job. Some of you got some new ideas going on. You're starting a business. Um, I see that as well, too. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? King of Wands. Yeah, I'm getting like you guys are getting ready to be real busy. Okay? I feel like some of y'all are starting a business. Somebody here is feeling like a new woman, a new man. Okay? So, yeah, like... Yeah, I'm also getting to... That somebody here... You could be regretting dealing with this person and you've been waiting for this person and whoever the other person is could be a queen of cups pisces cancer scorpio i got king of pentacles and queen of cups this is a couple this is like a father and a mother okay i feel like you've been waiting for this situation to fuck up i feel like you've been waiting for this situation to mess up okay and it's for this person to leave this uh, this third party i feel like you could have been, you could have been the one starting the arguments with this person. You could have been the one um, dibbling and dabbling, putting your hand in on this, okay, um, to make this person run off or to make this person fly off the handle. But be reckless because I feel like you, you want a situation to come to an end. I feel like a lot of you are putting your hand in on this, got your hand in on it. Um, but you feel like, see, this person that you're dealing with, this could, I keep getting Capricorn, the Ace of Swords, okay? You could be telling this person all type of things about this other person, like, yeah, she or he ain't this and that. I seen them at da 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 whoop, 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 whoop. Is it the truth? Could be. Is it lies? Could be. I don't know. Only y'all know. <laughs> because you're, you're looking like, you know what? Maybe you're tired of this person continuing to put in the work continuing to entertain this other person um and you're hoping that this person you know lies to them cheat on them treat them like shit <laughs> you're hoping that this person gets bored and tired of carrying all this weight and you're hoping that this person just you know they kick this person to the curb okay now we got somebody you feel like you can make this person happier you feel like you're stable, okay? Yeah, see, somebody's offering somebody. You're offering this person a cup of love. This could be you or this could be vice versa. But somebody here is offering somebody a cup of love, okay? Somebody wants, definitely wants to get back together. Somebody wants to come back together. For some of you, this could be it, you know. This could be an ex that you're wanting to get back with. Maybe you've still been continuing to deal with this person while someone has another they're in another partnership or vice versa take it because i feel like some of y'all are just you know kind of still stuck on this person a little bit i feel like some of y'all still kind of stuck on this person a little bit but i do feel like you guys are focused on some of y'all are starting businesses i'm getting like you're getting really busy And there's that devil again. Mm. The devil and the king of wands. <laughs> I'm getting some sexual energy going on here. Yeah. See, I feel like someone's reaching out for somebody for sex here. This person could have some good sex, man. <laughs> and they could be coming to you. Three, three, three. Three, three, three. They could be coming to you or you could be going to them after work when they get off or when you get off. But I see this cycle continuing. Yep, didn't I tell you the Ace of Wands? 
I told you that. There's a lot of sexing going on here. But be careful because somebody's going to end up regretting taking that leap of faith, taking that risk. Be careful. Now we got you guys' energy here. Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups. The Empress and the Seven of Cups and the Ten of Swords. So you could want this person to cut off their options. Or you've cut off your options. Either way, somebody has some options that they cut off or need to cut off. You're waiting for this, this person to cut their other options off. Because I feel like for a lot of you, you've been you've been offering this person, you know, possibly offering things to this person. Like, look, you don't even got to deal with all of these people. You don't got to deal with all of these people. Like, I got you. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. All right, so you're getting some type of clarity. You're finding out the truth, and I feel like you're getting ready to make a final decision because someone here is speaking their truth, okay? I feel like you're going to be looking for looking for some type of change in this person. But, yeah, because this person apologized, Three of Swords and the Page of Wands, the King of Pentacles could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This person apologized and said that they were going to change for the better. And you've been waiting on this because this person has been real player-like. They've just been coming in and out, doing the most, you know, not really keeping their word. So this person is saying that they were going to that they were going to make some changes. Yeah, see, somebody told this Queen of Cups the truth, and somebody got mad because somebody told somebody the truth. Okay, that they they aren't moving forward. They lied. Somebody's intuition is saying that somebody's asking for money or doing something for money. And somebody's like, look, I just can't wait for this to be over with. Somebody's wanting somebody to cut that option off. I feel like it's this Queen of Cups. There could be a Queen of Cups involved that recently got cut off in a situation. They found out the truth about somebody and somebody got cut off. And I'm telling you, I don't know if somebody, I don't know if you guys are investigating somebody um, but I feel like you got some tea on somebody. I feel like this is, this is some dirty work involved. All right. This is some dirty work. Y'all playing dirty. I feel like y'all playing dirty because I don't know if, I don't know if I'm getting that there's two, maybe even three or four people involved. There's a lot of people involved in this situation. And that's why this energy is so petty right here and so messy because there's too many people involved. Why is the Five of Swords here? The Ten of Swords. Somebody got betrayed, okay? Somebody got betrayed. I feel like it's this Queen of Cups here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They found out the truth. Somebody told somebody the truth and somebody got stabbed in the back. And it was planned. It was planned like that. Because somebody had other options. I'm telling you, somebody got a lot of options. And somebody needed to get dropped. Somebody had to get dropped. So this person here got dropped. They got dropped because they weren't putting in as much effort. They wasn't giving as much as effort or doing as much as maybe that you were doing or something like that. But somebody got dropped because they weren't doing as much. They used to. Because we got the Six of Cups here. They used to. But they stopped. All of a sudden, they just, you know. I feel like this this other person kind of like gave up. Like, I'm going to take my cards and and, and my, my money and, and this and that. And I'm going to go somewhere else. I'm going to play with this for a little while. But I'm going to let y'all do it. Because I already did mine and I'm good. But somebody cut somebody off okay so somebody got one of the options got cut off
Now this person over here. Oh, we got the death and the sun. This person over here is regretting taking some type of risk. They feel regretful that they took that type of risk. Cutting whoever this whoever this is that got cut out the picture. I'm getting this person this kind of regretting that because somebody offered him somebody offered this person some money or gifts or something. The Knight of Cups and the King of Pentacles keep coming out. Somebody offered this person a gift or money or something to cut this person here off. Somebody gave somebody an apology. Somebody apologized. You know, they apologized for it. But this person, this this situation, somebody offered, had something else to offer. Somebody apologized, but they're going towards something different. Okay, and this is their final decision. Because they can't, they feel like they aren't getting anything out of the situation. Maybe they feel like the situation is unrequited. And somebody is too self-absorbed. Yeah, see, this person over here, Three of Swords. This person over here feels forced into a love situation. Um, there's a lot of people involved in this situation. Five of Wands, Three of Cups, Three of Swords. All these people, there's a lot of people involved in this situation. Okay, this person is feeling stuck with this Leo here. There could be a Leo involved. This person is stuck with this person. They feel like they want to leave. The Hermit and the Eight of Cups, but they feel stuck. Um, I'm telling you, somebody is getting offered money or gifts. Somebody's here, here, here. I'm getting like uh, using those tactics to keep keep this person around. But this person is regretting taking this risk, to be honest. They feel like they want to be single, actually. Like they'd rather be single. And when they get the chance to say it, when the time is right, they're going to say that they want to be single. They just don't want to go back and forth. Okay? They just don't want to go back and forth. What else the page of swords here? Temperance. I feel like you're spying on this person. Could be a Sagittarius. I feel like you're doing a lot of spying. You're doing a lot of spying. Like you're spying for sure, for sure. It's like you're you're getting the tea. You're getting all the tea. All the tea. You're trying to find out if this other person is single. What does this other what does this other person have going on? Is it safe for me to make my move? Uh like you're doing a lot of spying. Then we got the four of wands and the world. Wow. Something's not over. Two of swords in the world. You waiting patiently for this person to come running back and possibly need you for something because they can't handle it. Something's too much. They feel burdened. They're confused. They got. They still going to have their options, though. They're still going to have their options, but you'll be sitting right there waiting on them. Is this what this is, Libra? Now this person is stuck with this, this Leo here. And I feel like there's a lot of fighting going on. Somebody loves to argue. Somebody loves to argue. So somebody's stuck in a situation that this person here has a lot going on. I think you're getting the tea and you're taking notes. But I feel like you're, you're waiting for this person to come back around because you know they're coming back. They always come back. They always need you for something. But beware, this person has a plethora of options, okay?
Tell me more for Libra. Heart to heart conversation. Calling in your soulmate. Stay optimistic about your love life. See, yeah, see, I feel like you're waiting for this person or this person is waiting for you. I'm getting a waiting game. But there is, like, you want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person. And I feel like you call this person in. Like, you know how to call this person back to you. But I feel like you're staying optimistic in love, okay? Yeah, then I tell you, you're going to give this person another chance. But at the same time... I feel like you're going to be putting yourself first. Like, you're going to let this person come back to you. I don't feel like you're going to be chasing them. You're just keeping your ear out and keeping... I feel like you just keep staying in the loop of what's what, what's going on. But I feel like this person is going to come back around to you. And they're going to want to have a heart-to-heart -heart, heart -to -heart conversation with you. And I feel like for some of you, not all, that you possibly will give this person another chance. Hey, I can't tell y'all what to do. <laughs> I'm just a messenger. But I'll tell y'all what y'all... Listen, when they come around, I'm, I'm going to tell you, give you a hint. This is what you need to do. Okay? Because their energy is messed up. Okay? They play way too many games. All right? So, if you guys are interested, guys, in the energy clearance spray, all of that information is in the drop box below, guys. And I'm going to chat with y'all later. Don't forget to share, comment, subscribe if you are new. All right, until next time, ciao.